All right, so let's have a look at what the best CPU for mining is. And we're gonna do this by comparing performance on 11 different mining algorithms. And then we're gonna score them on two criteria. The first one being what CPU gets the most hash rate per watt of electricity used. And for this, we're going to consider the full power drawn at the wall by the whole system. And the reason we're looking at this is after actually buying the system, Power is the only thing you'll spend money on. So the more hash rate per watt of power you get, the higher your mining profit margin will be. And secondly, we're also gonna look at what CPU gets the most hash rate per dollar spent buying the system initially. And we're looking at this because obviously some CPUs might get more hash rate than others, but they also might end up costing more than double. So it might not be actually worth it to go for those CPUs. And I'm also gonna touch on CPU mining profitability, but you're gonna have to watch all the way till the end to see that. So that's what's coming up in this video. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. The Ridge Wallet and the new Ridge Key Case. Hey guys, I am super excited about this sponsor. I finally feel like a real YouTuber now that an established brand like Ridge wants to sponsor my videos. So Ridge makes these super clever wallets that fit up to 12 cards plus cash while still being this minimal design that fits in your pocket with ease. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt aluminium and the durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. But I'm actually even more excited about this Ridge key case because honestly, I kind of hate regular keychains. I don't know, I always feel like the keys end up in some weird position where they poke your leg and that's obviously not an issue with this. That plus, since the keys always stay in the same order with this, getting the right key out when you're fumbling to lock the door in the morning is super easy because like with this, I know that the top key is always the one for my front door. So get the best offer at ridge.com slash Seb and right now you can save up to 40% through December 22nd. That's ridge.com slash Seb. Normally for videos like this, I like to do all of the testing myself, but since CPU mining is new to me as well, I don't have access to test all of these CPUs yet. So this video will be based on hash rate and wattage numbers that I was able to find on the internet. And to be honest, compared to GPU mining, stats and info about CPU mining is nowhere near as easy to find. So I'm gonna admit that like 99.9% .9 of these numbers come from fellow YouTuber Rabbit Mining, who I've had on the channel previously to talk about CPU mining. And in my opinion, he is by far the best CPU mining YouTuber out there. So you guys should definitely go subscribe to his channel after this video. And I swear, I tried to find multiple sources for this information, but any other source I was able to find either just had worse results than rabbit mining or I couldn't verify that they were actually legit and I know for a fact that I can trust rabbits numbers not only because he definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to CPU mining but also because he has videos on his channel to back all of his results up one more thing I want to mention is that the list of CPUs I'm gonna be comparing here is actually pretty short and there are no Intel CPUs on it and that is because after talking with Rabbit Mining in one of my previous videos, basically he explained that Ryzen 9 is really the only relevant series of CPUs for mining. Everything else is either just outrageously expensive to the point where you'll never make back the money you actually spent buying the CPU, or they just don't get enough hash rate per watt of power to be profitable. Now let's have a look at the actual results here, but as we do, just keep in mind that nothing in this video is financial advice by any means. It's just me trying to make sense of a bunch of numbers, all right? All right, so here we are. Obviously I have a spreadsheet, it's a SEP video, and here I have the sort of five different CPUs that kind of seem relevant to CPU mining. The 3900X, the 3950X, 5900X, 5950X, and the 7950X. You can see the CPU prices I have listed here. They are basically the current MSRP numbers that I could find. Uh, if you do some hunting online, you might be able to find some good used deals on like eBay and stuff. And then this is kind of the more relevant number here. So this is me taking the CPU price plus the price of building a whole system around these rigs because for CPU mining, you can only have one CPU per whole system as opposed to GPU mining where you can have like up to 13 GPUs in one system. For CPU mining, you have to build a whole system for each CPU. So let's have a look at those actual systems and what they cost. So for the 3900, 3950, 5900 and 5950, you can get a B450 chipset system and 
basically I've put together the cost of buying a whole system like that based on current Amazon prices. So the total price for the actual system there would be $230 plus the CPU obviously. And what I'll do is I'll leave a list of all of the needed parts for these systems in the description of this video together with some affiliate links if you do want to go check those out yourself. And then of course we have the 7950X which uses a different CPU socket so you will need a different system there. Uh, I would recommend a B650 system and that's unfortunately going to cost you a bit more money. Uh, total for the system there is $420. So obviously that plus the cost of the CPU, which is a lot higher, means the whole system for a 7950X is going to be significantly more expensive than, say, for a 3900X. But let's have a look at the actual results in terms of mining. So what I've done is I've listed a bunch of different mining algorithms here. And then what I've done is I've basically taken the hash rate that the CPUs get, the system power measured at the wall so it's for the whole system how much power does it pull at the wall then you just got the efficiency which is basically hash rate per watt we then also got the hash rate per dollar spent on the actual cpu so that's a way of comparing sort of the price between the actual cpus but more relevant we have the hash rate per dollar spent on the whole system so basically that is just this hash rate number divided by the actual price for the system. And obviously you want this number to be as high as possible. You get the most hash rate possible per dollar. Same for the efficiency here. You wanna get the most hash rate possible per watt. And then basically I'm just scoring them from zero to a hundred based on their efficiency and the hash rate per dollar spent on the CPU and the hash rate per dollar spent on the system. So as we can see here for the random X algorithm, the most hash rate we get is obviously on the 7950X, but in terms of efficiency, that is also the best one. Uh, second is the 3900X, but if we look at hash rate per dollar spent on the system, the 3900X is way far ahead of basically any other of these whole systems. So I'm obviously not gonna go through all of these different algorithms. What I will do is I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet. You can have a look at all of the results for yourself. Um, but let's just quickly run through to the full total results here. One thing I will mention is that I couldn't get any numbers for the 950X on curve hash. However, after talking with Rabbit, he kind of told me that curve hash isn't really that relevant of a algorithm right now anyway. So we're basically just gonna skip over that algorithm in the total results here. So let's go all the way to the end here. And here we can see the totals in terms of the score. And that is just adding up the score from all of the efficiency um, scores for each of the different algorithms. And the same for the hash rate per dollar spent on CPU and whole system scores as well. So obviously what we can see here, the 7950X is basically by far the most efficient CPU for mining. It is getting the most hash rate per watt of power by a significant margin compared to all of the other CPUs in the list here. However, it is more or less also the most expensive one when it comes to actually buying a system for mining. So if you look at the hash rate per dollar spent on the whole system scores here, you can see that the best one by far is the 3900X and the worst one, as I said, is the 7950X. So super short, best efficiency overall, the 7950X. Uh, second place goes to the 3900X, but in terms of hash rate per price spent actually buying and setting it all up, the winner is the 3900X and the 7950X is actually the loser, which makes sense. It's a brand new CPU and whole new platform. So next up, let's actually talk a little bit about which one of these two you should get. Should you get the 3900X focused on price or should you get the 7950X focused on efficiency? And then we'll also have a look at actual CPU mining profitability. 
But first, by the way, if you're still watching this far in, then I got something for you as a thank you. If you go to our merch store at gpuheadswithaz.com and enter the code THANKS, you'll get 15% off your order. We currently have the design of the Grim Reaper coming for Ethereum, and that's only gonna be available until December. Or of course we have the classic GPU heads design that I'm wearing right now. And if you get something there, you just know as I always say, that that is a great way for you to support the channel and get something awesome in return. All right, now back to the video. All right, so which CPU should you actually go for? The 3900X or the 7950X? So if you have cheap or free electricity, there's no question you should get the 3900X. You'll get the most hash rate per money spent on the initial system, hands down. The 7950X will be the better choice if you're more concerned with your profit margin over your power cost and don't mind the bigger initial investment. This could for example be relevant if you want to make sure your rig stays profitable even if crypto prices dip even lower or you have a higher electricity price. But you also believe in crypto long term and you just want to stack as much coin as possible now with the belief that crypto prices will go up significantly in the future and that is when you'll sell all the coins you've mined and make back the cost and some significant profits. But in any other case, I would probably still say that the 3900X is the better bet. It's a much cheaper initial investment and it is still the second best in terms of mining efficiency, which means it still will stay profitable both at lower crypto prices or higher electricity costs just not to the extreme extent that the 7950 will. And the 3900X is probably the one that I personally would go for. So yeah, by the way, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video of me building a CPU mining rig. But now let's talk about CPU mining profitability. All right, so obviously CPU mining profitability varies every single day and is also based on your actual power cost. And the best way to check CPU mining profitability by far is the calculator on Rabbit Mining's website. And the reason for that is it takes into account a lot more coins than all other calculators I've found on the internet. For example, the NiceHash mining calculator for CPUs literally only counts Monero, which is like one of the least profitable coins to mine on your CPU. And what I can say is that as of today, mining on a 7950X is profitable all the way up to power prices of 25 cents per kilowatt hour. So if we have a look here on the website, I've loaded a 7950X into the calculator here, and then I can just put a power cost here. So you can see if I put 25 cents and hit calculate, we are still profitable making about 10 cents per day after power cost. Now, if we go with a much lower power cost of uh, let's say 10 cents, if you're lucky enough to have 10 cents per kilowatt hour, as I know some of you actually are, uh, then we can see we're making about 54 cents after power um, for a revenue of 84 cents per day. Because of course, the lower your power cost is, the more profit you'll be making each day. Now, of course, what you can do is take this 84 cents of revenue you make each day and hold it for a few years. Maybe crypto prices go way up and all of a sudden the 30 cents you spend on power each day is negligible now that your 84 cents is worth like $8 per day. But that, of course, all comes down to what you believe the crypto market will do in the next few years. But that's it. And if you want to learn more about CPU mining, I recommend checking out this video here. And if you want to learn more about the parts needed to build a CPU mining rig, I recommend checking out this video here. That's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.